Hi, so my name is Cassidy Evans, and I'm going to explain my volume of a cross-section project. So the title of my project is Stop and Smell the Calculus, and I chose to use a shape that looked like a tulip. Um, the functions that I used were f of x equals 12 plus 2 cosine 2x plus 3.7, and g of x equals 8 plus 8 cosine 0.4x plus 0.7. Um, the shape that I had to complete my cross-section was a semicircle, which was pretty simple because x equaled my base, which was the same as the diameter, so I could just go from there and build my um, semicircles. So when I actually put my interval together, I took f of x minus g of x and squared it, and I integrated that with respect to x from the interval from 0.653 to 11.435, and that's actually not an exact integral. Uh, when I used my uh, calculator, I brought it out to six decimal places just to get a little bit more of an accurate answer. But after I integrated it, I multiplied it by pi over eight, and the answer I got was 286.274, which was extremely close to my actual answer that I got when I added up all the volumes of my laminates, which was 286.291. So if I turn my project around, I have all my other spreadsheets, including my squares and my isosceles triangles and my equilateral triangles. But all the things that they had in common were that my actual uh, volumes were pretty close to how much I had when I just added up the volumes of all my laminates. Um, one of the biggest problems that I ran into with this project is the fact that I had 72 laminates, which could have been fixed with using a thicker, uh, a thicker material. Um, but the upside to that, even though it did take me a really long time to put together my physical model, it did give me much more accurate answers than some of the people that used thicker, uh, material to make their laminates. Um, I also had a little bit of trouble with the spreadsheets, but not too much. Um, I actually did the spreadsheets wrong the first time, and I didn't realize it until I went and tried to find the exact uh, volume. Other than that, I really think that this um, project wasn't mathematically difficult. It was just really time-consuming. Um, but I really feel like I have a better understanding of the topic and of the subject because I have gotten to see what the actual model would look like versus just trying to sit there and um, imagine it and uh, visualize it. So I hope that this helped my uh, helped you understand my project a little bit and um, have a great night.